Welcome to Go Learning Point tutorial. So in this session, we'll be discussing about how we can compare uh, the table structure in Oracle. So suppose you have got two tables or multiple tables and you want to compare the table structure. So table structure means you want to compare uh, the columns and their data types. So if I consider example of two tables like employee and department, I want to compare the columns and their data types, which are the columns we have same in both the tables and where there's a difference between the columns and their data, their data type. Okay, so let's see how this will be done uh, practically. So I have written a simple, simple query, so I'll explain uh, each line what I have done in this particular statement. So before that, uh, we already know that we will be having all the table and column information inside this dictionary that is user tab columns and inside from this what I'm selecting is uh, the column name and their data type and for the table that I want to compare with the other table okay so here what I have done I'm comparing uh, all the I'm selecting all the column names and their data type for this employee table in the second select what I am doing, I am selecting column names and their data type for department table. So let's try to execute this. So I have got all the columns and their data type, right? Similarly, by executing this statement, I will get all the columns and their data type for department table. So we have only two columns. And if you see, uh, let's spin this result and let's compare the result of both the queries so if you see we have uh, the department ID that we also have in uh, the employee table okay so this is something the common columns uh, column we have in both the tables and department name is not there in employee table okay so that's the only difference we have uh, between those two tables so likewise you can compare other tables as well so what I've done here uh, I'll be using so how this will be done using a simple uh, select statement or using a single select statement is I have uh, used a with clause here so what I'm doing the whatever the result we are getting from this query the first query I am creating a, a common table expression called t1 and for second column second uh, query I am creating a ct as t2 and then I'm comparing the, uh, the column names from t1 with the column name uh, from T2 table and then inside the select what I am doing I am selecting the columns and data type from T1 table that is my employee table and from T2 I am selecting the columns and uh, the data type uh, from T2 table that is my department table okay so let's try to execute this and see what difference we'll get between both the tables so if you see this is my first column that is my employee table and these are the columns I have in employee table and their data types Okay, and third column is for the department table and only two columns are there and their data type. So if you see this particular column uh, is having null values for employee table because this, uh, this, uh, this column and data type, this column is not there in employee table. So that's why we have null values here. Okay, so similarly, you can compare this uh, for the other tables as well. Now, this can also be done using a uh, minus operator. So this is... Uh, something we uh, did it using with clause and now what I can do I can compare uh, the values using minus operator so what I have done in this query this is the query I am using the minus operator here for both employee and department table so what I am done I am selecting all the values so this particular select is for department is for employee table that is my base table here and after this union all so I have used two queries here so in the first query, what I am doing, I am selecting all the values uh, from employee table and then I'm doing minus all the values in department table. So whatever the result will get, will get uh, inside the select statement. Okay, then I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm, uh, I'm using union all operator and then in the se second select what I'm doing, I'm selecting all the values from department table and doing minus uh, from this employee table. So what I will do. Uh, this particular select state and what we, this will do this will select all the values from department table that is department ID and department name and will do minus from this table so let's try to execute uh, only this select first and see what result we'll get 
So if we see, this is the only column that we have in department table that is not there in employee table. Okay. And if we try to execute this select, we'll get all the values except department ID because that department ID column is also there in department table. Okay. So let's try to execute this. So if you see, we do not have department ID here because that is also there in department table. Then I'm doing all all the results that I have received from the first query and second query I'm doing union all and then I'm comparing both the tables so if you try to execute this complete query you'll get results like this so this is my table name only single column will be there and we'll be having employee table and the second will be department table so these are the two different ways you can uh, use to compare uh, the table structure of two or multiple tables okay so i'm going to paste all these things in the video description link and thanks for watching my tutorial and like share and subscribe to get more updates